fact. The earth is suffering. We are making our world a giant thrust can. Would you want our children to live in this kind of environment? Of course not. This is the very reason why this study was conducted. The title of the study is a module on recycling activities for students with mild intellectual disabilities. This study is authored by my student, Melba C. Salas. She is a special education teacher in a public school here in Quezon City. She also pursued her master's degree in special education at the Philippine Normal University, where I am her professor and I was the advisor in conducting this study. The study is anchored on three legal bases, as embodied in Article 14, Section 1 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. The state shall protect and promote the right of all citizens to quality education at all levels, and shall take appropriate steps to make such education accessible to all. The Magna Carta for Disabled Persons mandates the provision of equal opportunity for persons with disabilities, both in terms of the right to education and of equal opportunities for employment. Article 1, Section 3 of the Policies and Guidelines of the Spatial Education in the Philippines states that spatial education shall aim to develop the maximum potential of the child with spatial needs to enable him to become self-reliant and shall be geared towards providing him with the opportunities for a full and happy life. The colloquial of the study. The study was conducted at the Commonwealth Elementary School located in Quezon City. It is a grade school with the largest enrollment in the city. The school is one of the biggest elementary schools in the country and is one of the world's most populous grade school. Methodology and participants of the study. The study employed a descriptive development method of research to develop and validate a module on cycling activities for students with mild intellectual disabilities. Survey instruments were used and evaluation and validation of experts were done. The final form of this module is intended for the use of spatial education teachers in teaching students with mild intellectual disabilities in their respective schools, as well as for general classroom teachers who are implementing inclusion of the spatial students to their regular classroom setting. The study was tried out to a group of the students with mild intellectual disabilities who need training and vocational skills. It consisted of 15 students with intellectual disabilities at the school. Of this number, three were 19 years old, six, 17 years old, three, 16 years old, and three, 15 years old. 10 modules were created for the recycling activities, which include necklace, disco ball, aluminum flower making, doormat, flower vase, a bracelet, paper bag, decorative fruit making, plastic bag, and chair making. Technique of the tryout of the study. 
the modeling approach is one of the techniques in behavior modification and it includes all the action and conscious inactions to enhance the probability of people individually or in groups to choose behaviors which are personally fulfilling, productive, and socially acceptable. This method, the children with mild intellectual disabilities are exposed to several stimuli, such as handiwork of neighbors and friends, work of art, and other available resources in the community serve as good models for children with special needs. Aside from the spatial education curriculum, it has a supplementary curriculum on life skills and pre-vocational skills. It includes, I can identify electrical tools and parts. I can identify simple tools. I can identify and read auto parts and tools, construction task cards, home and consumer science task cards, and job skills task cards. These life skills and pre-vocational skills are included in the spatial education pre-vocational skills bundle activity of the school. The researcher developed example lesson plans for the 10 modules. Here is an example of one of the lesson plan on recycling bottles in creating chairs. The teaching of recycling is to students with mild intellectual disabilities is done by using lesson with the following parts. The title, of the lesson, which is the chair making, values integrated in the activity. In this activity, the values of creativity and independence are integrated. Number two, the objectives of the lesson. The students will be able to make a chair out of plastic bottle stack plastic bottles, tie and tape plastic bottles, find joy in the activity. And the third part of the lesson plan are the materials, tools and equipment needed in chair making. The number four part of the lesson plan is the procedure. It includes the lesson proper, which are the following. Number one is the presentation of the lesson. The teacher brings out the plastic chair made of empty plastic bottles as a model for the students. Two, development. The teacher will demonstrate chair making using the following steps. Preparing the materials. Number one, group the bottles by four. Bind it with a masking tape. Repeat the procedure until you reach the desired size of a chair you wish to create. Assemble the bunch of plastic bottles. Bind them with masking tape or plastic tape again so to become firm or sturdy. Cut the cart cardboard to cover the top of the chair. Cut the clothes to cover it so it will look beautifully. Now you can have a chair made of plastic bottles. For the evaluation of the lesson, the teacher prepared a rubric evaluation consists of letter A, material use is 20 points, B, workmanship, 60 points, C, general appearance, 20 points with a total score of 100%. The students are requested for evaluation of their work, of their selves. Number one, where 
you able to assemble the bottles? Yes or no. Did you buy the bottles with your own effort? Yes or no. Did you enjoy making chairs? Yes or no. Did you help save the earth by recycling? Yes or no. With this, the student can feel how important they are in preparing projects like chair making. And the last part of the lesson is the assignment where the students are assigned to bring more bottles for chair making. They are going to make more chairs with different designs. The results of the study. Number one, teaching recycling to students with mild intellectual disabilities may help them develop self-worth, experience self-fulfillment, and most of all, live independently. At the same time, recycling techniques save our natural resources, save our trees, and save the Mother Earth as a whole. The module on recycling guided the students with mild intellectual disabilities acquire vocational skills and consequently the guard base problem all over the country may also be solved. Further, the module on recycling will help students with mild intellectual disabilities to be prepared and trained effectively in the reuse and recycling of waste materials, which will enable them to be productive. Vocational skills are needed in order to enable individuals with intellectual disabilities earn a living. Vocational education must be afforded to students age 15 to 21. And recycling is one of the ways of introducing them to it. Conclusion. Strong community recycling programs can contribute to a healthy united community. Recycling programs can also help to improve water and air quality and are building blocks for sustainable growing communities. Many items can be recycled if markets are available for the materials. Recyclable materials may include newsprint, corrugated cardboard, office and computer paper, mixed paper magazines, telephone directories, glass containers, aluminum cans and scraps, steel cans and ferrous materials like iron and steel, scrap plastics, yard waste, used motor oil, food waste. All these materials can be used in creating products through recycling. This study can be duplicated by other researchers using other recyclable materials available in their community. Recycling saves energy and prevents extraction of raw materials, helping to combat climate change. It is also help reduce waste and therefore solution Recycling reduces environment impact as a whole, contributing to a green mentality and more sustainable lifestyle overall. May this study inspire other researchers and create a ripple effect on recycling materials to make the world of children a clean environment with fresh air, thus the world will be a safe and a better place to live in. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening.